up early fixing a cup of coffee because the rabbits have to be at the vet for surgery early this morning. So I got an early start. So I gotta get up and get the rabbits ready and head off to Arab. Yesterday, my dad read the side by side. And so the nurse came and I have to check his blood pressure before I go take the rabbits to surgery. So I'm gonna have to go in here and wake him up to tell him I have to check his blood pressure because his blood pressure has been dropping, which is causing the dizziness. So they don't want him to take his blood pressure medicine if his blood pressure is low this morning. So let's go check. His blood pressure was fine, so he can take his medicine this morning. I gave him his eye drops. Now I'm headed to take the rabbits to get fixed. I'm going to hide in somewhere by a gate, it's star. Baby, they ain't never gonna find me. I'm a renegade. We're at the vet's office and it's about countdown. So no more babies for Schneed's farmhouse and we're gonna have pets and they'll be healthy for the rest of their lives, I hope. <laughs> She's so cute, I can't stand it. Sugar bug. Fluffy. So, she, so is it on now? Uh huh. So she'll get sleepy here in a minute. Mm hmm. Well, that's pretty cool. God, you got that slick. <laughs> All right, surgery's over. Now we just gotta wait for her to wake up. And Willis Jr. is up next to be fixed all right next up this beauty so we gotta wait for him to go to sleep you're brave <laughs> well she don't have to shave all him uh -huh. he's a lot more delicate than yeah. she is though <laughs> i know look who's awake that's my fluffy girl. She just got a shot for pain. You okay? Look at her looking at me. Why'd you bring me here? Why'd you do this to me? Fluffy. Fluff. That's pretty good stuff. He's all done, but he's still asleep. <laughs> that baby's still asleep. You spoil your animals, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have a pillow. She covers them up Why and gives them a pillow. <laughs> he's had a rough morning. Fight dog him. Rough morning. Okay, we're packed up in the car, ready to go home. I did not fix sugar bug. And the reason I did not fix sugar bug is because I didn't realize that she had to be six months old. It can mess up her demeanor. 
So we are gonna wait. She won't be six months old till March the 22nd. So we're gonna wait a couple of months before we fix Sugar Bug. But because Willis Jr. is fixed, there's no way she can get pregnant. So I'm not in a hurry to get her fixed. I'd rather her be okay when I do fix her. So we'll do that in a couple months. So this is the first time my dad's been down here. He's never been able to go to the creek because he's never been able to walk to the creek and he's never been able to get his golf cart down to the creek and get it up the hill. So it's good times. No, where am I headed? You'll have to ask him. I know he's building an outhouse. So this is our wood for our cabin. We're gonna build the cabin over here. for 28 years I know a lot about anatomy so I can teach them the bone structure and the purpose of the bones and so forth and I have it right here by the creek where the kids can get in the creek and play and then back over here is trails and we can ride the side by side through there and we can uh, drive the property line and make trails or they can walk and discover nature what mama's got <laughs> Look what mommy's got. Here, here, eat out of my hand. <laughs> there you go. Trying to teach them. Because, no, you know, people like feeding animals, right? And people, look, your baby. Your baby. Come on, I'm not going to hurt you. Come on. Come on. Look. Come here. Come here. There you go, Henry. There you go, Henry. He'll eat out of your hand. I don't know why he's not. There he goes. And he's pretty gentle. He's not rough. See how gentle he is? Sometimes the ch the chickens will peck hard, but he he is very soft eating. He does not rough at all. Hey, baby. Mm -hmm. People talk about their turkeys are so mean. And my, I'm, I've been fortunate. Mine are, look, he's gonna go chase that chicken. Mine are not mean. They're pretty sweet. Ham. Now, Ham has never ate out of my hand. Come on. Ham. He's like, I ain't never ate out of my son's hand. I ain't going to start. Come on. Come on, baby girl. There you go. Good girl. Thank <laughs> you. 
There's the peacocks. It's hard to believe that's mom and daughter. It's kind of hard to tell them apart because they've grown so, so much. Do you want some baby girl? Oh, here comes Popsy. Here comes Popsy. He wants some. There's a way for Popsy. Today is Saturday, 24 hours after my rabbits have had surgery. So I thought I would give you an update. Um, I can tell they're like super sore, which is normal. But Fluffy hasn't been moving a lot. Now, it's so much harder on the girl than the boy. The boy's surgery is pretty easy. The girl's is more intense. So I think I'm gonna just hold her and just give her a little bit of loving and make sure she's okay. Uh, he said it was important for them to eat. I don't see any pellets gone. So I'm gonna try to give her a treat today and see if I can get her, entice her to eat. Do you want to go sit down and get some love from your mama? I don't really want to put her on the ground because her incision it doesn't look too bad. It's not oozing. It looks pretty good. You okay? Mm -hmm. You okay? Walker has made her this cute little nest down here. Little silly goose. Shane has built all the shelving. And he's now starting to move stuff out of the shop so that this bad boy in here is slowly, y'all, it's not even close to being cleared out. Shane, you got too much crap. Um, all this has to be moved out. But if you notice, he's got all that gone. So believe it or not, believe it or not, there has been a lot of stuff moved out of here. But there's a lot of stuff that needs to be moved out of here. Look at this. Look at this crap. Shane, what is all this stuff? Is this all necessary? Like all this stuff down here, this is necessary? It's all necessary. It's necessary. Well, like, what's it necessary for? I might need it for something. <laughs> so, don't be sweating me. You just sweat going Start grabbing. What, what do I need to grab? Uh, stuff off the shelf? Can, that little, that clear one right there. Okay, we are making progress to the education center so today is monday and today i got to ride with my farm vet he had offered me the opportunity to ride with him because he knows that i'm always looking for ways to learn and this was a, a way that he could teach me about other animals by getting me out of my comfort zone from my own farm so what you're seeing right now is a goat and sheep farm and Dr. Harney and I went to this farm because he actually had to trim every single one of these animals' feet or hoofs, I guess I should say. And so I had to herd these animals into the chute in order for Dr. Harney to be able to trim their hoofs.
One of the most wonderful opportunities that I had with Dr. Harney today was meeting a sober living facility. One of my main goals is to have sober living facilities tour my farm. And this was a wonderful opportunity for me to make a connection to let them know about Sneed's Farmhouse and how we're all about giving back. Don't you think we've had enough?